Hey everybody, hello YouTubers. So glad you're all here. Um, thank you so much for being here. If you can take a moment, go down, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell, that little notification so you um, get notified when I'm doing something colorful and hopefully brilliant. <laughs> well, we won't go that far, but let's hope that I'm doing something that you enjoy. Um, today, thought I would go on here. Hi Annette. Thought I would get on here and show you how to make custom colored waxes for your furniture uh, painting projects that you might have going on. So um, hopefully you enjoy it. Um, by the way, those of you that are brand new here, my name's Kelly Weiler. I am the owner of Girl Upcycled Studio. Um, we have a physical location in Zanesville, Ohio, which is just about an hour east of Columbus. Um, but I do a lot online, so you can find me on all of the social medias um, out there. Um, and I'm trying to make sure that I get on here and give all my YouTube um, people some love, too, because you all are great, and I absolutely love YouTube. So um, if you can, make sure you share this with everybody you know if you like it. All right, so look what I'm doing. So this is from yesterday's live. If you missed it, you can find it, um, you know, in my feed somewhere, it's there. Um, but I created this floral chair. I did a custom color with uh, the purple and I teach you how to make this beautiful purple. Um, and then today what I'm doing is I am making, see up there, custom glaze. I don't know if you can see it very well. Let me see if I can just scooch this over. You see, it's a very, very pretty blue colored wax. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. It's really super easy. But you have to promise, you have to promise me, you're not gonna tell anybody, okay? Because this has to be, this is like just between you and me, right? I hope. I'm hope hope I'm looking in the right place anyway keep this between us because I don't I don't want this getting out there how easy this is all right so you're gonna take some clear wax I'm using the DIY brand and I'm not sure if there's a way I can flip this screen so you can read this properly but it's called DIY um, by Debbie's Design Diary it is clear wax and it's all natural it's just yummy you can you know safely use it like you can even use it on your hands if you want to okay because we we have to have our skin all nice and pretty while we're doing this too right <laughs> so you're going to take a little clump of that let me just mix some up so you can see so i'm just going to take you like you like my spatula you just take the edge of your the end of your brush i believe in the the KISS motto, which is keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> Anybody else? And I can't see your comments, gang. Hopefully you're all there. And then you're just going to do like about a quarter of a teaspoon, maybe. And you, this is very forgiving, you guys. And you just take your little brush and you just mix it in. <laughs> be your spatula, too. I know like to get all fancy. This is about as fancy as I like to get. No, I do have legitimate stuff, but honestly, I jumped on here on a whim and I'm actually open, so I'm just gonna try to hurry this along. So anyway, gang, that's it. That is, that's it. So basically, I pulled a color. I loved this pretty light blue. I think the color of this was um, Petal Pusher was the name of this blue that I used with the clear wax and this petal pusher was also a color that I used in some of the lavender that I painted. So I thought it would be a nice compliment. It does look like icing. It's non-toxic. I probably could eat it, but I'm not going to. We'll save that for another day. <laughs> so anyway, we're just going to smoosh this right on here, guys. This is how easy, easy peasy this is. Right. And whenever you take wax that's colored and you add it to anything, really any color, it's going to 
slightly change. You know, like it's going to change the purple tone that I've got here, but it's going to make it really pretty. And it's also just going to make it, I don't know, I think waxing gives it that just a, a real yummy, cloudy kind of effect. And I didn't even announce that I was going on here, you guys. Hopefully, you know, people will catch on to it. But And then, ideally, I would use a white t-shirt. But guess what? I don't have one. So I'm just going to just grab in my paper towels. And I'm just going to wipe it off. So right now, I'm just controlling that blue and pulling off what I don't want on there. Um, by the way, I did not mention, before I waxed, I put a hard coat on here. Okay, so the big top from the DIY company is the hard top that I used. And the reason I did that is because this is gonna be going out on a patio. It'll be under roof, but you know, in case water gets to it, I just wanted to kind of, thanks Annette, I just wanted to kind of give it some, a little protection. So I'm gonna blow that up for you. I probably should have while I was applying it. But look how pretty that is. And it just really makes it pop. So do you see the difference in the purple tone? Okay, I'm gonna to try to adjust this for you. Um, so if you look, this is where I've applied the wax and this is where I have not applied it. So it's going to lightly, lightly lighten up your purple or whatever color you have on the underneath. Okay, I'll just leave it that way so you can kind of get um, a good view of it. And it's going to be rather subtle. And I want to mainly make sure I get it in all the little grooves. More so than anywhere. But you always want to remember um, whenever you use wax, wax products, you always want to, that needs to be your very last step. Um, or you could possibly get, get some peeling or it may chip up on you a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to take it and I'm going to wipe that off. And then it'll just leave behind a slight bit and I'll do this one over here for you next because I don't know if you're able to really see the way technology is wonderful but it's always it's not the same as seeing it in in person right but I think you get a good idea so you can kind of see the difference in in the purple here versus the purple here so just slightly alters it. I think it's really pretty though. Um, I really, really enjoy um, doing the custom mixing on the waxes because it's going to make, it's going to give it a unique flavor. It's going to give this chair a color that probably no other chair will have, you know, and I've already custom mixed that color anyway. So now I'm doing a custom mix of the wax so it just kind of makes it really really personal and very special I think and waxing just gives it almost that cloudy kind of a look almost like a dreamy kind of look and I apologize you guys if I am miss missing any of your comments because I don't have my computer up and running so that I can see comments but I will make sure that I go back through and um, read them and answer any of your questions. I'll try to make sure I don't leave you out. But I think that gives you a good idea. 
of custom waxing. And I would love to know if any of you have tried this yet. And if you have, what colors did you mix? I mean, maybe, maybe we can help each other come up with some new ideas, huh? Possibly. <laughs> so that is that. Love the purple. You need to go check out the last live. Yes, Annette, please do. It was um, a lot of fun. So I did that last night, I believe. And the um, I've been doing a ton of these little painted floral chairs. And uh, we were trying to come up with a name for it. Let's see. I guess I should have had my light on. Um, you made white when you ran out. Yep. That's always a classic way to go. And I am trying to move this so y'all can get a better, a better view. There, I think that might give you a nice view. I'll do the back of it real quick. You can never go wrong with white. And you know what I love about um, white waxing is white waxing almost to me looks like a salt wash. So um, I don't know if any of you have worked with salt washes or have, you can make your own salt washes too. I'll have to do a video on that sometime and, uh, or maybe even go live. I really love doing lives, you guys, and the reason why, and I know they're, I don't know how popular the lives are here on YouTube, but um, it's nice to be able to answer questions, you know, right here and there. You've made salt wash. How did it turn out for you? Good. I love the interaction of the live, I guess, is, is what I like about that feel like that it's more personal but anyway um yeah the white wax always reminds me of a salt wash which whoops I got a little, didn't mean to get that down there which I love Uh, the, this is a perfect thing to do to these little chairs, too. These are those old oak chairs that were, like, so popular, um, like, in the early 90s, late 80s, and they're very dated. It has that yellow-orange stain. It's very, very dated. So this is a fun way just to kind of... Do something fun with those chairs and still take advantage of the beauty and the shape of the wood. And I'll have to give you a close up because I don't think you're really getting to see what I'm seeing here. Have you tried the boat technique? Boat tech. No. Do you mean the salty kiss? Oh, there's a good, there you go. That's a really good picture of what I'm, what I'm doing. I hope that helps. Um, the boat technique, I'm not sure I've done. I've done the salty kiss. And in fact, I teach the salty kiss here in my studio. It's one of my most popular classes that I teach. Um, but I hope you all got a nice glimpse of it. Um, apply your colors with thick paint. In all, oh, um, I do that. I, I didn't know it was called anything, but <laughs> yeah, I have done that before. I do mine with uh, like a putty knife or something like that. You mean where you, you apply the paint and then you scrape it and reapply it? I think that's what you're saying. Yes, I do that a lot actually. Because I really, really love texture on my pieces. And 
think it's a great way to um, find if you find a great piece that's in bad shape it's a it's a great way to update it and uh, you know make something not so pretty pretty again so if it has a lot of flaws in it that actually makes it better with that technique I think that might be what you were talking about so but yeah that really it's still a beautiful purple but it just gave a slate it's given it a slate milky flavor now on it you let your paint get thick by letting it dry out then apply darn it oh, I lost that let me see I don't know how to work this yet gang let me see if I can pull I can't oh there they are there they are okay um let's see apply a piece of wood shoot how do I get the comments to stay up here guys is there a way um, Annette says she has chairs similar you're welcome and I would love to see what you do with your chair Annette I would love that so um, yeah so I thought I would come on here and show y'all so easy peasy I hope that that gives you all a great view and idea I wish I had I don't know why I did not turn my I did not turn my light on so if you look at the bottom of the legs kind of gives you a oh thanks if you look at the bottom of the legs that's where I don't have the wax and up above is where I do have the wax so you can kind of see that as more of a milky dreamy cloudy kind of a kind of a look to it that's really it gang so i hope you enjoyed it i'm not going to be on here real long today um it does take the shine away which is why i like doing that on top of um, because i sealed it so when you seal it then you're going to have the shine and a sheen at least a satin sheen from that um, sealer but then if you go back over it with wax It'll take that shine away, but you have that assurance of the undercoat having that that sealant and that protectant, okay? So, um, because, you know, if this gets down the road a year or two down the road, and if I need to reapply wax to this or whoever buys it, they, they can, but um, it's probably going to be fine. Like I said, it's going to be on a porch. It's going to be under roof. Um, but I just feel better knowing that it has a hard coat on it. Just in case they forget to bring it in, maybe it sits out all fall and hopefully not the winter, but you never know. But I feel like it, it gives it a little extra little boost of security there. So got to make sure my babies are okay before I send them out the door. <laughs> anyway, um, it was lovely talking to all of you. Um, and thanks again for your patience with me here on YouTube as I find my way through and figure all this out and I hope to see you all again soon so um, as always if you can remember to share this out and it helps me grow and uh, make sure you subscribe if you're not already thanks Annette you have a good night too and it's Friday <laughs> thanks you guys I'll talk to you soon